This bus that we're on today is an all-electric bus. No internal combustion engine, no transmission, entirely powered by uh, state-of-the-art batteries. Uh, so we're very excited to be testing this bus. We're going to have it for two weeks. Uh, the manufacturer is BYD. They've been circulating through the Northwest, and now it's Portland's turn, uh, Portland region's turn to have a, a shot at testing the bus. BYD is a Chinese-based company that specializes in rechargeable batteries. They also manufacture vehicles. Uh, they manufacture the buses, obviously, and they also manufacture some electric cars. There's approximately 2,000 of them are in operation, um, most of them in China. There are some in Europe, uh, in South America, India, so they're spread out all over the place. We have uh, buses operating in Stanford University, uh, we are delivering buses within the next two or three weeks to uh, Antelope Valley, which is in Lancaster, California, and very soon we'll be delivering buses to LADOT. The bus is manufactured in Lancaster, California. Um, it is Buy American compliant. Uh, I think the I think the overall U.S. content is approximately 75 to 80 percent. There are some proprietary uh, components uh, that are brought in from, the, uh, uh, from China, and they would be like the inverters and some of the motors and things like that. It's certainly a premium uh, at the purchase stage of this bus. It's more expensive than a standard diesel engine bus, but without the cost of fuel over the life cycle of the bus, which is 12 to 15 years, there could be a payback. And it has uh, the capability to match our duty cycles on most of our routes without recharging. That's what's most intriguing to us. We're going to really try to do a mixture of everything, including hills. Because we're very interested in how this bus will react on an inclines of some, some serious grades. Uh, some do fairly well, some not, so we'll see how this one does. We're going to be inserting it into certain routes over the next two weeks uh, just to kind of see how it goes. We'll be taking passengers. Uh, the bus won't be equipped with the fare box as you can see. So we're just going to have people come on and enjoy the ride and we'll get some feedback and just see how it works. Tell me a bit about uh, how quiet this bus is. Well you may not be aware but the uh, bus is actually running right now and you can just hear a little bit of a hum. Uh, it's as quiet or perhaps quieter than our light rail vehicles. The rubber of the, of the tire to the pavement doesn't create quite the sound of the rail wheels to the track. Uh, which has tends to have a little bit of a squeal from time to time. This is much quieter in that regard. Uh, so it's very appealing in terms of uh, just how it looks and feels. This is really uh, an interesting test for us because we have a grant application that we've submitted to the Federal Transit Administration uh, to acquire nine vehicles similar to this. Uh, and this is going to give us a good idea on how that's all going to work. Uh, so it's going to be on routes next week. Uh, we'll be tweeting those routes out uh, on a daily basis as we decide which ones are going to go into. We're going to be looking for a lot of customer feedback as well as people driving the bus. How does it feel? Uh, what's the difference between this and our regular bus? What are the implications, if any, on driver training or our maintenance staff who has to maintain them? So it's going to be a learning experience for us. Those are the converters. That's the compressor. Power steering is what you hear right now. Um, we have two reservoirs for very small radiators which cools off the converters and our motors. The motors are mounted on the axles. These are kind of like fire extinguishers, they're mm -hmm. fire suppressants. Those are mounted in all of the battery cases. This is our compressor, the air compressor. Um, the motors you can't actually see unless the bus was up in the air. So tell me about the development of this bus. How, when did it start? The bus was developed back in uh, around the mid 2000, around 2005. Uh, started, was fully developed and designed in China. Uh, started production in China. There's approximately 2,000 of these buses in production or been delivered throughout the world now. Our factory is designed to be able to produce a minimum of 1,000 buses per year. The battery is a lithium iron phosphate. Um, it is a very safe, very environmentally friendly, very green uh, type battery chemistry. 
um, very safe, no, never have had any uh, thermal events, anything like that. Uh, does not require external cooling. This particular bus uses three battery packs. Um, they operate at 540 volts DC. There's 324 kilowatt hours of uh, power. You can drive this bus in real use, uh, in real transit use, anywhere from eight to 14 hours uh, very easily, and that equates to anywhere from 110 to 160, 170 miles. The bus handles everything, so you don't have to have extra chargers. Um, pre-built or anything. Every bus basically has its own chargers built in. To go from approximately 30% to 100% takes about three to three and a half hours. The bus uh, handles and drives pretty much just like any other bus. We've had a lot of driver input throughout a lot of demos. And as far as driver transition from a standard bus, a diesel bus, anything like that, uh, to this bus is very, very easy for them to go from one bus to another. They don't really need any special training. If you've ever driven hybrid buses, you're good to go. Everything is pretty much just the same as driving a hybrid. It really, really picks up really quick. Uh, doesn't necessarily have good top end speed right now. We've got new motors, uh, more powerful motors that we're offering uh, that will alleviate, alleviate that. This bus has full uh, traction control, ABS, uh, it performs a lot better than a lot of buses because it has four-wheel disc brakes uh, and the regenerative braking, so it will stop on a dime. You know, TriMet's always been interested in emerging technologies. We were one of the first to have an electric uh, uh, diesel hybrid bus some years ago and we have some now in operation and we're ordering four more. So we're, we've experimented with it, but this is all electric, so it's a different animal.